Hello, it's Flo and today I'm going to show you on my HTC Desire HG with the custom RAM ice cream sandwich, the launcher called Apex. So, um, this launcher is cool because there is different things and we can see that on Apex menu. For example, there, this is an ice cream sandwich version, so I have to show you what you can do. You can add different things as Apex action, shortcuts or other things. These Apex actions are shortcuts to do some action. As example, go to notifications, double dock, uh, Apex settings, screen, different uh, num screen number or manage screen. So I have to show you with notification. You just press that and you have here the icon with notification. You press this, this shortcut and you go to notification. This is the first thing. Then, okay, you can you can remove it. Then on the Apex menu, you can change the wallpaper, go to theme settings, so just uh, use the icon pad, the skin, and the font. You can get more theme with the browser or the Play Store. On Apex menu, you can also manage different apps. There, you have all your apps and you can manage it on running, SD card, or all your apps. You have also different things as manage screens. You can manage different screens, add a new screen there, or remove another one for this one. You can also change the favorite one um, by by putting the star there under my, my finger, you've maybe seen it, and putting it on another screen, this one, this one, or other, as you prefer. Okay, so this is your home screen. You press the home button and you go to the screen. On Apex menu, you can also have different Apex settings, but you have also an Apex settings shortcut there. You have the system settings. This is all system settings. I don't have to speak about it. And you have the lock desktop. Yes, uh, after you lock the desktop, long press will not work and your desktop cannot be changed. You can unlock it later from the menu option. Okay, and you have the help to help you. You have also the Apex settings. On Apex settings, you have the home screen settings. You can change the portrait grid by 2x2 uh, two two, to 10x10. So this is cool to use, for example, on portrait, uh, the 4x5, four, four uh, five rows for four columns, okay, something like that. On landscape grid, you can do um, the inverse, so four by five, or you can change as you prefer. You can change horizontal uh, margin and vertical margin, manage screen, add and remove different screen. Okay, so you have seen maybe there, there is five different um, row and four columns, and you can use uh, this way, okay, I have to go to menu, system settings, uh, home control, yep, general user interface, uh, allow and rotation, HE rotation, okay, and there, yeah, no, no, whoa, 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 settings, okay, settings, okay, so you have to, to allow it, uh, I don't remember how to do, sorry, um, home control, with a lock screen power option and button button general status bar okay and there you have to status on bar i don't remember where it is but you you have to change it okay and it works okay so home screen settings uh horizontal manage infinite scrolling you can just have an anchor scrolling or none jump or uh, bones and elastic scrolling the infinite scrolling is the fact to just go to the last on the right and go to the left to the left on the same uh, on the same uh, side okay um, you have home screen settings so and minimum scrolling time you have different transition effect as tablet card star cubit cube out you can use the wallpaper mode show desktop indicator or not um, and you have a lot of things like that or uh, icon labels you can use it I notification bar this is the notification there no show status bar okay and there there is no notification bar okay you have no uh, labels and icons there you can also go to the drawer and hide different apps so you can select which apps you want to hide okay there you have the drawer app sorting so you can uh, sort it by title install date 
or mostly used. You have it where the other style, so it could be a horizontal paginate, vertical, or a vertical continuous app. Okay, so let's go to try this one for example. Let's go to door and there. Okay, so this is vertical, sorry. There. Okay. Um, you also have on the door settings um, the scrolling, if you need to not scrolling, door tab icon, uh, show primary apps and other things, either app levels and you can do a lot of things. You have the dock settings. On dock settings you can change the number of dock, the number of dock icons for uh, 1 to 7 and number of dock from 1 to, to 5. You have to change the horizontal and vertical margin. The dock has overlay, um, infinite scrolling to minimum scrolling, and hide the dock or hide dock divider. So the dock divider is this thing. You have to see it here. Okay, this is the one here. So there is no indicator here. There is the indicator and no um, separate. You have the folder settings. You can preview. You can change the preview by these four different things: iOS, Guide, Fan, or Stack. Uh, my favorite one is maybe um, the, the fan, like this one, with uh, the square here, or, the, or custom, you can change it with your uh, your icon if you want. You can hide the folder name and hide icon labels inside. Okay, you have behavior settings, you can change the screen orientation, so auto rotate, always portrait, always landscape, so with that you can use uh, this one, and you have the landscape mode, there you have the different, uh, the, diff the um, folder here, okay, and you can use menu, uh, system settings, no, menu, apex settings, here. You have also the behavior settings, you have different things, as home key action, so you can show preview, go to define, you have to define that. You have also the same thing for default home key, default screen, um, pinch in, so when you just do something like that, it show previews, show notification, toggle status bar, for example, swipe up, you have to do nothing or change it by um, toggle dock, for example, swipe down, mm, uh, show apex setting. I, I just want to show you with different things, double, uh, double tap for launch uh, shortcut, and you have to choose which one. So let's go to use direct message. Oh uh, no, direct message. I need uh, the sub apex settings. Okay, swipe down. I have to. Um, I have to recent tabs. Okay. Uh, desk desktop long press different things. Okay, so let's go there. You have to pin pinch in and it it show you or not the notification bar by the eye. Uh, swipe down. Swipe up. Swipe down. Okay, um, what are others? I don't remember. So, no, menu Apex settings. You have different behavior settings. You have the theme setting and you can change it. You have the advanced settings, customize menu, uh, resize any widgets. You can check it, it's cool. Uh, you have also the default language and uh, keep in memory. Okay, you can back up and restore it. So you can go also to Lux, uh, Launcher Pro and you have to restore Apex Launcher. So this launcher is very good because you have to change a lot of things on the user interface and I love it. I will not show you two other difference. This is the Nova and the Trebuchet. Thanks to have seen this video and let's go to, to see a new one. It's Flow.